sisters embrace that, and we do intend to thank her for her yeah. provocative action. I'd like to know how you all feel um, about her action. No power to it, but time somebody did it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think it's time that, that someone said, this is our enemy, this is who we need to be fighting. We, we need to be doing something that says, wait a minute, you can't tell us that our lifestyle is not right. You can't write a letter to American bishops and cardinals and say, don't campaign for the rights of people. No matter who Unless people, people are dying because, because people are dying and he's killing exactly. thousands of people. What, what do you think of Madonna's criticism of what Sinead did? Are, are you familiar way with that? Uh, way off, babe. I mean, Girl, she the crucifix well, she said a couple short. of things. One of the things she said was that she sh you shouldn't rip up an image that means so much to so many people. Madonna is a complete image and I respected her for that for so long. A lot of people tear her down, but she knew what she wanted to be, she went for it. And she spent her whole life struggling with creating images and breaking them down, so I really thought it was hypocritical. I couldn't believe that, that she said it, and I was really surprised. Yeah, yes, and then, and then she, she continued to say that Sinead really should have explained her protest before she executed it. Do you agree with that? Well, Madonna herself said in her movie that we saw in New York that she loved doing things to push people's buttons. Mm. That she, that she doesn't want anybody to else to do things that's to push buttons. Yeah. You know, so I don't think we <laughs> should have any room to talk about what yeah. Sinead O'Connor did because, yeah. you know, even her new book is pretty risky. Yeah. I think, that too, that, that she, she seemed a bit threatened to me that someone else was moving into that religious realm. And, her arena. Yeah. She's yeah. taking her spot away. Right. Maybe. Right, but I, yeah. I, Madonna's not an original there. You're looking at the original. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we did it first. <laughs> so how do you respond to uh, people saying that you mock the church or mock nuns? Do you mock nuns? No. No. no we, we, are are nuns. Nuns. we don't mock them. We are nuns. We're doing exactly the same work that nuns have been doing for centuries. We're just doing it in 20th century ways. So One of the that, but we have had positive comments and remarks given to us directly from real, from nuns. real nuns in Seattle yeah. that have said things like they hope that one day they can do a joint benefit with us. This is how, how, do you, how do you react to gay men who say that you're setting the gay movement back? <laughs> what about the gay Republicans? What are they doing? I say, I say yeah. wake up, boys. We're not setting a back. We're uh, leading the way. Exactly. And drag and drag the drag other boys who started the whole movement to begin with. It's yeah. always been the extremes. We're going to be the ones that take it even further. We're the one with real balls. Hello. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> at, at our Halloween benefit two years ago, I was in the bathroom with um, another sister that isn't here, and there were two men um, who paid entrance to our benefit to support uh, Chicken Supergate in Seattle, an AIDS-supporting group, and they were very opposed at what we looked like, what we represented, and what we did. And I, one, asked them why they were there, and they said they didn't know that this Halloween party was sponsored by the sisters. And I explained to them that yes, it was, and this is where the money is going, and this is why we look like we do. Because if I were dressed as they were, no one would listen to me. And I think, like Mother has always said, looking at us right now, you could not, you could not walk by one of us. Whether you said something or not, you could not walk by one of us and not think something. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times that thinking um, promotes a question, and a question promotes conversation, and conversation promotes learning. And that's, I think, a lot of the reason why we do take it to the extreme, because one, it's fun for us personally, we get self-gratification, um, from getting a new bobble or a new color to wear. And two, it always presents that picture. I, I, I go out all the time and people have no idea who I am in boy clothes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That brings up an interesting it, question. Is, can you think of a situation, is there a situation in which you would deny that you're a sister? No, no, no never. It, never. It's, a total, it's a total commitment then that, that everybody is there and they're out with it. Right. With, your, family, with your parents and, friends right. and everything. Especially in the, and with me, especially the people at work, they love it. The people I work with are wonderful. I'm constantly getting someone yelling at me from across the room. My God, Larry, there's glitter on my computer screen. <laughs> okay, if, if Clinton's elected president 
and gay people move into the White House and government. And they come to you and they start saying, we're trying to get the Civil Rights Bill passed, and because of what you're doing and the way you look, we're having trouble getting the rest of America to accept us and give us our civil rights. What are you going to say this spring? I would say oh, that's a bogus issue. issue. I'd say wake up. We were working for it before you got into it. Right? What is it really? Ask, ask our public <laughs> to what they think of us, and the other people will learn with time. I mean, you know, the first time anyone sees a sister, there's, there's shock. And then I know what's going on. I like, think it would be at that point that um, one or all of us campaigned to be elected soon after that, maybe the next term, and we didn't ask those groups that were so working hard to get something done in the community without the politics, I think we would run for election probably in the next election year and not have to ask certain groups not to do something. All right. There's always a way to do something and do it correctly. <laughs> and asking people too. to stop doing a positive thing is not a good way to get something done. You have to work together. I mean, people want us to be straight appearing or straight acting. It's like, but I'm not straight, so <laughs> I ain't gonna. I, you know, I'm like, I'm not. You know, this is who I am. This is what I'm doing. And if you don't like it, don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. You're not the one in this. <laughs> I do what I want to do, I say what I want to say, I dress like I want to dress. I don't run what society says, screw them, I don't care. <laughs> Ditto. I, just being who you are, I mean, I don't know, for me it's just being me. And then some. And then, <laughs> yeah, all of the best things in life. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think a queer is anyone who deviates from what society expects, no matter how they deviate. So everyone's queer somewhere. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. Extraordinary. It's about freedom of speech and expression and freedom of thought. To me, queer means uniqueness and specialness. Okay. All right. All right.